morning, a man in the hospital after being shot by a D.C. police officer in Northwest. Investigators say the man pulled a handgun on the officer on Kenyon Street. That's where John Gonzalez is this morning with more on what he's learned overnight. John. And Steve, at this hour, the alley where this occurred is still taped off. And as you can see behind us, there are still police officers here holding the, the fort, if you will, taking care of the situation here, trying to figure out exactly what happened. Now, police may have actually been searching for this suspect because they tell us there has been a recent rash of car break-ins and street robberies here in the area. This is a neighborhood right next to Washington Hospital Center. Well, that's why three plainclothes officers, undercover officers, were patrolling the area, part of a neighborhood enforcement task force. Well, at around 11 o'clock, the officer spotted a suspicious male holding his side. And at this hour, it's still unclear why, but police say that's when he took off running down Kenyon Street and into the alley. During this foot chase, police say the suspect pulled out a gun. His officers approach. He reached out, uh, presented a weapon, at which time one of the officers discharged a weapon, striking the suspect. Uh, multiple times. The condition of the male suspect is unknown at this hour, but we can tell you he has been in surgery for several hours. The officers involved in this were not heard. We understand a handgun was recovered here at the scene. And again, police officers still here investigating exactly what happened. The officer who fired his weapon, a 10 year veteran with the police force here in D.C., has been placed on routine administrative leave pending the outcome of an internal investigation. Reporting live in Northwest Washington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.